Hello intended people, so I thought I'd talk about 2015, basically what I've been up to this year. First, I'm a bit rusty with this whole like talking to camera, talking to humans thing because I haven't done it for a while. I've got some more disposable income to use, which is great. So like, get on that train of disposable income-ness. So the other day I went to visit my friend in Katoomba, who was basically my my old internship boss who gave me is a glowing reference which meant that I got the job woo the current job that I'm doing so I went to that and then I went to Mount, Mount Vic Flicks so basically my phone ran out of battery because I was trying to use the GPS and I was like oh no it's like got like no zero percent battery what do I do and so it's like 4 30 after the movie when the movie finished and I decided oh yeah it's still light outside I'm gonna go bushwalking by myself, with no water, just a half-eaten muffin, no contact of the outside world, and if I die, so be it. So I'm walking in the bush and hearing these like dogs like barking, and I'm just like, oh whatever, la da 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 da. Went to this like little cliff about five minutes away from where I walked. So I see this sign. It's got Japanese writing, and I'm not Japanese at all. What kind of sign? There's like little words in English, and I'm like, oh letters and scrollings what 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 is this what is this so just scrolling and it's like a little illustration which i kind of understand more than i do words sometimes it was don't go to the cliff because you could die and fall so i'm doing these like weird jedi like like one person lightsaber battle things with a stick that i found and i'm trying to like hit the cat hit like everything like like i'm some sort of like ultra cool kung fu master but obviously being me and not being having exercise much i have like literally minimal hand eye coordination and i'm like okay addy stop embarrassing yourself in front of the universe because you totally did not rock that at all so i'm doing that and i put the stick down i'm going back home i'm going back on the train and then suddenly bum 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 this channel is so cheap that I have to do my own sound effects. On the train, a few teens go by and they're like, oh. And I'm just like, dude, that ain't cool, man. We gotta be legal. We gotta be legal. And that ain't cool. They're on the train, right? And I'm just like, okay, these are a bit, these are bad guys. And I'm worried because I have, I don't have any, any battery on my phone at all. I just have an iPad. But I was like, okay, I'll distract myself. This other guy got on and was like, Hey man, what's happening man? And they're like, brother, what's happening? And it's like, this one like white guy comes on. And they got on the train, right? And then they start playing their really, really, really shitty house music. Like, do 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 They're like, like play the music and they're like, yeah, bro, it's so cool, man. It's it's so cool. It's it's like hippin' man. What's happening, man? And then I'm just like, oh gosh. They're like playing this thing. It's getting really annoying because I'm like, oh my gosh, these kids. Uh. And then suddenly, a group of girls come on, and I'm like, oh, girls, come on. They're wearing like quite revealing clothing, and I'm like, okay, this is something that the youth of today kind of do, and I'm not at all customed with the youth of today so I don't know what they're doing they come on the train and they have like these like little aloe vera bottles and I'm like oh sweet you know they enjoy like healthy aloe vera they're embracing like my culture which I'm like oh my culture yeah but then this girl's like oh it's Felicia Felicia and then this other chick was like oh what my and she was like can yeah, have a swig of this and then I was like mm. so apparently they kind of put vodka into an aloe vera bottle which I was like ooh there's a sign that says no drinking on the train I was like oh my gosh they're gonna get like reprimanded by people and stuff this is so illegal they're like you know let's listen to our f shitty music on our phone that's like obviously got like shitty speakers because it's just a loudspeaker and they're like oh yeah using the aisle of the train to dance and do like provocative moves and I'm just like I'll just kind of like write down my thoughts whilst I'm writing notes on what I thought about Star Wars so I'm writing right this teen kind of sits next to me and I'm just like oh my god I'm dead I'm gonna get attacked in a non-PG way 
So this guy, right, he's got his cap on, he's this Asian guy, and he's staring at me for like a good 10 minutes, and he's like... And I'm just like, oh my gosh! Like, I'm too young to die! I just got in a job, how can I like, survive this? I've only had about five hours of sleep, decided to spend the day before baking to 2 a.m. and pres give some presents to my intern boss because I was like, oh yeah, she's so nice to let me visit her. Might as well kind of like give her food and stuff, yay. So he says this really, really, really racist slash sexist line. He's like, oh, she's my girlfriend now because she's... She's Asian, and he kind of does this weird like eyebrow thing at me as I kind of like glance over at him, and I'm just like, far out. So they get off, and I'm like, Phew, crisis averted. It's strange because even within youth culture, or even within like young people circles, there's such a divide between people who are really mature and nice and stuff, and who I get along with, and people who are just plain jerks. 2015 advice of the year, don't be a dickhead, don't be a jerk, get along with people, be nice. I don't know what this video was, I just wanted to make something and post it on this channel because I haven't done it for a while. Okay, so bye. What, what was that? Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm so sorry that I just winked at you guys. Okay, bye.